I'm going to show you how to set Ableton to change presets on an AxeFX or any other piece of gear connected MIDI wise um, from a new live set. <coughs> we need to create a MIDI track. There's one already here. I'm going to rename it something that we can recognize AxeFX MIDI. Okay, and we will set its output to AxeFX. Channel 1. I'm going to go to the hit tab and go over to the uh, arrangement view. And imagine we've got a load of song data here. And at bar 21, you want to kick in your lead tone. Uh, you want What you want to do is on the MIDI track, you want to create a new clip for the duration that you need the preset active. And to keep things uh, keep yourself informed you need to <coughs> name the track something like preset 34 open the clip and right down here in the uh, notes tab you need to select bank and program bank 1 is obviously um, 1 to 127 128 2 is 129 to 256 I think <clears throat> and 3 is whatever's left 257 all the way up to 384 but you do need to specify the bank so if we want preset 34 we want bank 1 and program 34 and what I'm going to do is after those 8 bars I'm going to make another clip and We'll call it something like preset 99 and do uh, same settings of the bank, but program is it 99? Yes, it was 99, and then we'll try something in, make another clip. And we'll try something in uh, bank three. So we could try something like, say, we want preset 138. Preset 138. And we want bank two, because that's where 138 lies bank 2 and I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be on my machine so I've got a feeling it's going to be number 10 so it'll be channel 10 so this might not work but if I play play the clip from here we will see uh, changes on the machine which I'll go over to now it's 34 for 8 bars Let's go into 99. Let's just see if I'm uh, mathematically competent. And 38. Still don't think I am, but that seems to be working. And that's all. And that'll stay 138 until it receives another message. So that's what we've got to do. Hope this has helped. And um, all the best to everyone.